You cringe every time you step on the scale. You've tried seemingly every diet under the sun. You worry your weight could lead to other medical problems. That's exactly what Christina Crawford was going through. Then she went to the weight loss surgery center at Southwest Washington Medical Center and had bariatric surgery. She says it's given her a new lease on life. The surgery has definitely changed my life. I'm so happy that I did it. So I'm running now, exercising, just being active, kind of being a part of life, not just uh, kind of watching it go by. These pictures of Christina were taken just hours before her surgery at Southwest. The highest I got to was 270 pounds. Tried many different methods to lose the weight, but uh, didn't seem to work. But having bariatric surgery did. Christina had adjustable gastric band surgery. Lap band, as it's commonly known, consists of placing an adjustable silicone band around the upper portion of the stomach. Lap band is one of the two most common bariatric procedures. Gastric bypass is the other. It involves dividing the stomach into two parts. The rate of weight loss varies between the two procedures. I look at 50, 40, 50 pounds weight loss a year with the band to be a success. With a band, hopefully your weight loss goes on for two, three, and sometimes four years. With a bypass, our average weight loss is about 110 pounds in the first year. Exercising regularly and eating a balanced diet has led to steady weight loss. Hi, Michelle. I'm Danielle. I'm going to be your nurse today. Danielle Gephardt works with Christina at Southwest's Family Birth Center. She says she noticed a dramatic difference in Christina's weight after just a few months. And all of a sudden, about March, I'm like, wow, you look great. She's like, well, I have the lap band done. I'm like, wow, really? In August, she ran her first 10K, and although her results are not typical for someone with lap band, she's lost well over 120 pounds, and she looks great, feels great. Danielle began to wonder if bariatric surgery could work for her. She struggled with her own weight since she was in grade school. After talking with her husband, she made the call. I decided to finally raise my white flag and say, yes, I needed help losing weight, and went to see Dr. Cagle and all the folks at the Weight Loss Surgery Center and um, really got a good idea of lap band and what it could do for me, and knowing it was going to force me to make a lot of lifelong changes that I've been trying to make, but this what I felt was really gonna be the thing that was gonna make it stick. The health improvements after bariatric surgery are really quite impressive, and that is the thing that has gotten healthcare providers and physicians excited about it. The cure rate of diabetes, if you've been diabetic less than seven years, is in the 90%, hypertension better in the 80%. And if you couple that with the fact that you have turned their lives around, and I've absolutely had patients say to me, it's not often in life that you get a second chance to really live a completely different life. It's phenomenally good fun. One of the best parts about being a weight loss surgeon is not actually doing the operations, it's seeing patients in the office afterwards when we have made a difference in their lives. People come into my office and they thank me for things as simple as I can bend over and tie my shoes and I haven't been able to do that in 20 years to I can sit in a regular seat at a movie theater. Gastric bypass procedures take about two hours, lap band procedures about an hour. Recovery time is relatively quick, and most patients are back to work within 10 days. After the surgery, though, is when the real work begins. I know I'm going to have to do exercise every day, and eating healthier. I, mean, I know I'm going to have to eat healthy. There are definitely certain foods that really aren't recommended with lap bands. I feel like this is going to give me the opportunity to do things that I've always wanted to do and just haven't done them, and that, I'm using that as my motivation. Christina Crawford's motivation comes from always wanting to run a marathon. If she doesn't make it that far though, she says she's perfectly satisfied with the way her life is right now. I'm much happier. I don't feel, I don't know, look in the mirror and I don't feel, you know, like this isn't me. I don't look in the mirror. I look like myself now. I don't look like a person that I don't recognize with the extra weight. To learn more about bariatric surgery, call the Weight Loss Surgery Center at 360-514-2500 or log on to yourtimetolose.org. Southwest Washington Medical Center, pioneering medicine for 150 years and counting.